Hi you guys, welcome back to Creatively Crafted Life. My name is Melanie and today this video is the start of my Smash Your Stash 2022. This is a collaboration where a bunch of fellow YouTubers have committed to using various items from our stash each month in an effort to you know, actually use it. <laughs> so this month our challenge was to use buttons, sequins, gems. And in my mind, I'm also kind of throwing in the idea of enamel dots, but I think that's actually another category later on. So, you know, there may be some overlap, I guess is what I'm trying to say. Uh, I don't really know what I'm going to do. Um, it's pretty early in the month when I'm filming this because I, I, just don't know what to do. I don't know that I want to do buttons. They're not inspiring me at the moment. So I'm thinking this is not going to be what I'm working on, which leaves sequins and gems. And the first thing I think about when I think of sequins is shaker cards. And I'm like, yeah, everybody knows that. And there's nothing wrong with that. And I'll probably make one or two. But I really want to challenge myself to use them in a different way. And I don't really know. So yeah, I don't have a hot clue, but it's a good thing it's early in the month, so it gives me lots of time to think about it. I will probably reach out to my crafting group and see if um, they have any suggestions. Again, I want to do something a little bit different. So I'm going to leave you here, and I'll be back in a blink. Okay, you guys, it's been a while <laughs> since I filmed that introduction, and I am now ready to show you what I came up with. I figure I have used approximately 1,485 sequins and gems on all these projects this month. Now I say roughly because to be honest I, you know, it's not always easy to count these exactly and I did do a couple shaker cards. Did you do a couple shaker cards? No, I did one shaker card and I didn't really count how many sequins I put in there. Okay, so let's start with what you may have already seen and that were these Christmas cards that I made. I have a video up featuring this last month um, and I used sequins and gems in the centers of the snowflakes. These are roughly all the same just varying um, some of the placement a little bit depending on the cardstock um, that I had. I was using scraps to finish these and then a couple of them I added a few extra sequins around each cluster so two of those. So for these cards I used a total of 24 gems and 36 sequins. I'm just giving you the stats because I think it's kind of fun. Then I worked on some kits that I had purchased from Close to My Heart as part of their um, International Scrapbook Day. I didn't actually have time to make the projects during that week so this month I focused on them. So uh, all of these featured a stencil and there are some repeats of the designs. So I have four of these yellow ones where I've added the gems just as accents. And then I have four of these horizontal ones where I've added the gems on either side of the happy birthday. So kind of framing it, if you will. And then I made four of these ones where I just used the gems in the centers of the flowers. And I switched up some of the sentiments a little bit, you know, just to make it fit with the kind of cards that I like to send out. And then I have four of these with the gems just underneath the sentiment to act as a punctuation, if you will. So for these ones, I used a total of 44 gems. And now I have another stack of cards. I really need to send out more. Okay, another kit that I worked on it were, was a scrapbooking kit and I made a couple layouts. I don't have photos on them because, you know, I was too busy crafting. I didn't have time to print the photos. <laughs> don't want to back you out too far because the table's a mess. Um, so it's a two-page, or it could be a two-page layout. Um, depends on how you want to look at it. I think it was designed more to look like this. Or you could swap it. I think I like it this way. 
or you could treat them as two individual. I probably would do it as a double page layout just because I didn't leave a ton of room for a title on this one and I would probably put a title or something down here. Um, that being said, I did not intentionally line up these. If I had thought about it a little bit more instead of doing one and then the other I probably would have aligned it a little bit better. So that was the first layout and then the second one again not intended to be a double page spread necessarily but would coordinate well as back-to-back -back layouts and um, I do add the photo placement cards that come with close to my heart just so I remember what size a photo I need when I go to print these. So for the four layouts or two double page spreads if you want to look at it that way I used 32 of these teal um, half pearls. These did not come with the kit. I added them from my stash. Now I'm not sure how well these will show up. Um, these are the next pieces that I made. Let's see if I've got some colored cardstock here. And you can see that. This is not an original idea, but I will show you how I do this in an upcoming video. Um, I believe Jennifer McGuire came up with this, as she normally does, these, you know, cool ideas. ideas. But these are basically laminating pouches that I've added sequins and a little bit of embossing glitter or gl glitter embossing powder in to create these panels. Now these could be used for all sorts of things. Um, you know, you could use them like a shaker window if you wanted to, um, or in my case, I am actually going to use them for a uh, mini album that I will be creating. Stay tuned for that. Shameless plug. If you haven't already, be sure to subscribe and click the notification bell so you know when that is posted. So I do have three of these made. If I need more, of course, I can easily make more. These are super quick and easy to do. And I figure on this one, I used about 120 sequins per panel, so about 360. Okay, the next six, the next set of cards I'm going to share with you, I created um, the other weekend. I participated in a Concord and Ninth class, and so they did supply us with sequins, gems, etc. I thought I would include it because, well, it what made its way into my stash, so I might as well share with that, with you what we made. Um, so there's a number of cards. This first one features this really cute die. I added a couple sequins. This one here is that same die set. It does have an interactive element where you can pull out the cake slice, which is super cute. And then we decorated the cake with some enamel dots. We did a little small mini card, we added some sequins, um, another stenciling card with some of these dew drops. This one was really cute. They provided these teardrop shaped enamel dots to represent the seeds of a watermelon. And in here I added some enamel dots in the center of the flowers. And we've got a couple yellow enamel dots more of those clear um, dewdrop kind of gems. Uh, same here. Just add a little something to the card. On this one there are enamel dots in some of the centers of the flowers. And then my one and only shaker card that um, I actually use sequins in. So I really did try to stay away from the, the shaker card. But I mean it's sequins, right? And of course it was a class. Okay, so then the last idea that I'm going to share with you, I am super, 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 super excited with how it turned out. It came about, or the idea came about, in my monthly Zoom that I host with fellow crafters. Um, if you are interested, it is on the second Friday of every month. Um, just, you know, of course, leave me a message and I can get you connected if that's something you're interested in. We just hang out and talk and I, I posed the question. I said, I need to find some ways to use sequins in a different way. And a couple ideas were bounced around that were really great and someone said, you know, you should do something like the diamond dots. And I was like, okay. I sort of did that last year. If you followed my, if you watched my video from Smash Your Stash last year, I did make a series of cards where I 
glued down individual sequins and then put a die cut in front of it um, to represent the shape of like a Christmas tree and I really ha was happy with that so I thought okay well that, that's doable but you know I'm thinking in my mind what am I going to do right because I've already done the shape I don't want to do that again and um, Kathleen who I know is watching had this idea of you should do a dragon <laughs> and I was like okay okay dragon I'm not too sure you know where where I'm gonna go with this but I was like okay well at least the ball's rolling right and she had suggested using like a coloring page as kind of a diagram and so I let that idea percolate a little bit and I thought of I was thinking about dragons I couldn't get rid of that idea and I, I thought of Pete's dragon from Disney and that led me to thinking about some photos I hadn't scrapped from the Disney Electric Parade, Main Street Electric Parade, which I had seen, I think it was in 2017, they reintroduced it at Disneyland. And I had never seen it, but I had this real nostalgic kind of feeling for it. So, long story short, I could go on about this. I'm going to show you what I did, and I'll do a quick explanation. Sorry for the glare, you guys. But this is what I came up with. So this is my layout. It features different items from the electric parade. And of course, sequins kind of remind me of the lights on the characters. Um, I'll talk about the dragon in a minute. Uh, Rose, who's also I'm sure watching, had also suggested doing some sort of border or banner or something with sequins and gems. And so I took that idea and actually did this border of gems all the way across the top. I had these shaped sequins in my stash. I believe they were very old from close to my heart, like over 10 years old. And I had a couple of them, again, thinking along the lines of them looking like these parade elements, right? So I added that in there. I had plenty of photos. So I do have an insert that will go in the middle. And I did my journaling talking about the nostalgic quality of this parade and why I wanted to see it so much even though many people think it is a little bit dated I still really enjoyed it so in the parade Pete's dragon comes out so that's the connection I found a coloring page on Google I printed him out I colored him in with Copic markers and then I started bedazzling him <laughs> And I don't know if you can see this, but all of these light green areas are all sequins. And some of these pink items here are also sequins. And I did some in his hair. I opted not to go for the whole image just because I thought I would lose some definition. Now that being said, I did have the idea of overlaying a transparency over this to restore some of the details. So I'm going to show you what it looks like so you um, get the idea in case this is something you want to try or rather something you dare to try. Actually to be honest it was not that bad at all. It maybe took me less than a couple hours to put together. Okay so I printed him on cardstock, a thicker cardstock because I knew I was going to use liquid glue and before I started adhering, I traced him out on a transparency with the thinking or thought process that if this was completely bedazzled, <laughs> I could overlay this on top and restore some of the details. Now I opted to leave it out because again, I didn't bedazzle him overly. <laughs> um, and what details I lost, I didn't feel were necessary. And so I preferred this kind of more matte look than the super shiny look of the um, transparency. But that is definitely something you could do if you do happen to lose, um, lose the details. Now, I was a little bit concerned um, that the sequins would pop off and I had applied them with a liquid glue. So I literally just covered the section with liquid glue, popped the sequins on top and let it dry. But I still was a little bit concerned because um, some of these are not entirely flat. So then what I did was I took crystal effects 
and or diamond glaze depending which company you have and I basically just overlaid that over top it's not smooth like it's not like a flat texture so I clearly didn't put enough to get that kind of um, resin kind of look to it but I think it's enough now that these are in here like they are cemented down they are not going to come off so I am very very happy with how this turned out thank you Kathleen for the wonderful suggestion and yeah if you're looking for something a little bit different to add to your scrapbook maybe pull out a coloring page <laughs> and some sequins and have some fun uh, would also be a great thing to do if you have leftover diamond dots or whatever from a project okay so how many sequins did I use and yes I did count them roughly um, I used 320 gems between the border and the shapes and I used about 459 sequins to finish the dragon and I just love how this has turned out and I'm super thrilled super super thrilled anyways I hope you are as inspired by this as I am and thank you so much for hanging out with me be sure to check the other collaborators in the description below I'm sure they will have come up with some really cool ideas and until next time happy crafting <laughs>